dangerous path of old canoe, I would cross the In many ways, the paddling community in Illinois is envied by paddlers in surrounding states. We have the Illinois Paddling Council, which is in the process of being copied by both Indiana and Michigan. We have several very active clubs like Prairie State Canoeists and a long slate of races like the Des Plaines and Shoreline Marathons. We have an expanding system of canoe trails and a very politically active paddling community. All of this begs the question as to why we are so blessed. And the answer is simply Ralph Fries. In each instance, Ralph either founded the organizations or pioneered the concept. It would take days to detail all the many things Ralph has been and done in his lifetime. For the purposes of this video, we're just going to show you a few pictures and video highlights supplied by Rita Fries and WTTW. There's something about this country that's a part of me and you. The way we smash the smoky cliffs of Old Woman Bay, where we fought against the back swell, and then we're on our way. I would talk with you of spirits by the vision bits we saw them walk the agate beaches of the mighty gargantua in the land of Ralph owns a store called the Chicagoland Canoe Base at Irving Park in Narragansett on the northwest side. It's a tiny shop, but he's managed to squeeze into it everything you might need to buy or rent for your next canoe or kayak adventure. I've turned my back upon this I have acquired a little 14-foot canvas kayak. Coastline of my dreams, but it turns me by and by. I started building canoes. Fiberglass just came on the market. We built six for our troop. Then other troops heard about it. Before I knew it, I had four or five hundred of those little canoes built in the area. In 1957, Ralph began the Des Plaines River Canoe Marathon as a race for Boy Scouts in their home-built kit boats from Ralph. It is now the second oldest canoe race in the U.S. That's a part of me and you, oh, the land of the silver birch. In the early 1960s, Ralph lobbied the General Assembly to pass an Illinois Wild and Scenic River Act to preserve the Lower Fox River. His efforts led to the organization of the Illinois Paddling Council to lobby for the bill's passage. Home again to the rugged northern shore and the In 1967, Ralph built a 34-foot Montreal canoe, gathered 14 people to paddle it 1,400 miles to the Montreal World's Fair as the Illinois Brigade. This epic voyage gave Ralph the inspiration and confidence to organize a reenactment of Joliet and Marquette's discovery of the Mississippi River. It's always home again to the river. In 1973, it was the 300th anniversary of his discovery, and I had a crazy idea that year. So I reenacted the whole 3,000 mile journey of Louis Joliet, Father Marquette, and their five men in costume. Ralph recruited the seven men, he enlisted a film crew to document the often perilous journey, and he built the canoes. Plywood, smoke, and oranges, path of old canoe. Ralph has contributed both his expertise and his canoes to a variety of programs, including the Feast of the Hunter's Moon, various educational courses like this one at College of DuPage in 1985, and the long-running series of Freeze's Follies offered through Prairie State Canoeists. No matter where I go to, it's always home again. Hi, I'm Chris Brown. I'm checking in from Washington, D.C., and I'm a big fan of Ralph's. Wish I were with you tonight. 
Uh, I first met Ralph back in 1972. I was teaching school in Oak Park and wanted to go canoeing for a day, so I found um, Chicagoland Canoe Base and uh, went over there to rent a canoe. And uh, Ralph began to tell me about the rivers and streams and sloughs and uh, all over um, northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin. He began to tell me about the voyageurs and really caught my fancy. I was enthralled. And I uh, ended up uh, working at American Rivers uh, as the executive director and then for the National Park Service. And I'm now the director of wilderness and wild and scenic rivers for the U.S. Forest Service and here in Washington. We've got 36 million acres of wilderness and 119 wild and scenic rivers across 40 states. And these areas are really uh, the heritage that Ralph first introduced me to. Ralph really is one of those. People like Payson Kennedy and Ned Fritz and Marjorie Carr, and a giant uh, nationally of somebody who has uh, had people rally around him, who's inspired, who has taught, who has mentored, um, who has really created a uh, energy field for rivers, for conservation in the greater Chicago area. So uh, Ralph's been a lifelong friend to me. I really would love to be there tonight, uh, but I just can't say enough about what he has meant uh, to the Chicago land area and really nationally to the whole field of uh, river conservation and uh, the history and cultural parts that go, and go as part of it. Thanks. My name is Mark Miller, and I am the director of the Illinois Department of Natural Resources. It is my honor and privilege uh, to uh, take some time to honor the life and accomplishments of Ralph Fries. Ralph has been a tremendous friend and uh, has been a great influence on my life and my career as a river advocate as, a, uh, as I also moved on to uh, work in government as a liaison to the Illinois River Coordinating Council uh, and to my current position as Director of the Department of Natural Resources. Uh, my first canoe trip with Ralph was on the Foss River. And he showed me uh, the Lower Dale, the Dells and uh, a lot of great uh, uh, advice as well on how to tell the story of rivers. And, um, and it was uh, very helpful to me throughout my time working at Prairie Rivers Network uh, on the board of the Illinois Paddling Council and then later as well. And I uh, can think of no bigger honor a person that has made such an impact on our rivers and streams here in Illinois than Ralph Fries. And it's also been a great pleasure uh, for my wife, Debbie, and I to have Ralph and Rita in our lives. And we're very grateful to have them uh, be such gracious hosts, friends, and uh, to uh, have honored us at our at our wedding many years ago. So, Ralph, thank you very much for all you have done for me and for our streets. Take care. That's a part of me and you. Rita is clearly one of the best things that ever happened to Ralph. She's also made major contributions by using her editing and layout skills as the newsletter editor for many of Ralph's organizations, including a long stint as the IPC's newsletter editor. And we come out here and have a picnic supper. And then 9 o'clock when the moon comes up, we'd launch and we'd paddle around the upper island north of Tower Road. And let me tell you, it's magic by moonlight. Where the moon is shining, it's liquid silver. And in the shadows, it's jet black. To set paddle and the spirit at the mercy of the waves. The Wanigans were loaded down and a gift left on the shore. For it's best that we surrender to the rugged northern shore and the land of the silver birch. Cry of the there's something about this country that's a part of me and you.